Welcome. In this movie, we are going to look at site administration for SaaS customers. Good news is that this portal is web-based and can be accessed from any browser. It replaces administration portal available to SaaS customers before ALM version 16. Let's look at features and functionalities in this portal for administrative tasks. First, let's look at how to access site administration portal. We go to the QC bin page from a browser and click on site administration, which takes us to the login page. Here, users have option to reset their password. Admins use username and password to login. In the site administration user interface, we see all the modules in the left hand bar. Next, let's look at functionalities available in each of these modules. In the projects module, we can see the domains and projects that exist in this instance. Here, we also get the option to create domain, to create projects and create templates. We can drill down further into each of the projects by selecting the project and in the right hand window, we see the details of the projects. We also see the user list. We have the option to add users or remove users and assign user groups to the users. In the customers module, we see the details of the instance. The next module is the user management module. Here, the administrators can manage the users on the instance. They can search based on filters and perform different actions like add users. They could select the users and they can assign users to projects and assign users to user groups in those projects from this user management module. They could delete the user, activate or deactivate the user. So if they have set different roles, that can be set by using the user management set role option and they could set password policies as well. Now, if you have a bulk set of users that you need to import, you can use the import option and import the users through the CSV file. We also have provided a user import template that can be used for this purpose. There's also an option to send email to users by using the send email option. Moving to the next module, this is the role management module. So this is where you can create admin roles. Like for example, we have a domain admin role that has been created. Perform any actions with regards to domains and projects. So similarly, you can create different roles and these roles can then be assigned to users in the user management module. The next module is the password policy module in which if there are any organizational requirements to set in the password, policy that can be done here and then these policies can be assigned to the user in the user management module. Moving to the next module, we have the licenses module in which we can see the license utilization over a period of time. We can select different time frames to generate this report or we can view the report in data grid format as well. The new feature that has been added is that we can create the license utilization report by filtering out based on the domains and projects. The next module is the monitoring module wherein in the connected users we can see the users that are connected to the instance at this moment. Here we also have the option to disconnect the user, send email to the user that is connected or disconnect the users from a specific project or a domain, send email to the domains or projects refresh or set automatic refresh. We can also group based on project or group based on user. So for example, here I've grouped based on projects and I can see the connections for the domain and projects. Next, we have the audit logs where we can see what are the changes that have been done in this administration portal. In the right hand corner, we see the user that has been connected we can go to the My Settings to edit the user settings and log out. We have the option to go to SaaS Information Portal through which we can generate different reports for the instance. There is the Help menu 
and we have a new addition for task status so if you are doing any tasks like for creating a project which takes longer time we can see the status in this task status so let's say for example i'm creating a project and here we see the status of how the task is progressing and the administrator can continue performing other tasks and we'll see the update here once the task is done and once the task is complete we see the notification that the task has been completed So this was an overview of the site administration portal for our SaaS customers. Thank you.